This one is um, Cinderella, and this one is Belle. Mary Eatrides is four years old, and Princess Aurora is her favorite. Wait! She pricks the finger on the spinning wheel, and then she just dies. Oh, that sounds sad. That's because... That's because the queen did that. The bad queen. Oh. Yeah. She's playing with her princesses and having a tea party in her Nanaimo home with her mom, Tanya. Okay. Dress up is always a first pick activity. <laughs> but it wasn't always this happy for the Eatrides family. July 9th, 2009 was the day that Mary was airlifted to BC Children's Hospital in Vancouver, only hours after a visit to the clinic when a stomach flu wouldn't go away. No indications at this point. Yeah, at this point I can tell in her eyes that she's sick. I was in shock, panic. I was sure it was cancer. Um, I was trying to hold it in because I had to drive home and pick her up and call my husband and turn out to get him to hysterical before we knew what was going on. And it was cancer. Mary was diagnosed with acute myelogenous leukemia, a very rare and aggressive form of cancer in July of 2009. Things moved very quickly from a stomach flu that wouldn't go away to bruising that was more like lumps all over Mary's body to a team of specialists that were waiting for them when they arrived by helicopter at BC Children's Hospital. Mary stayed in the hospital for six months. I was there for a long time because the doctor needs to check me out. Yeah, to make sure you were really, and you, you're healthy now, aren't you? Yeah. But she was so sick, it was such an aggressive type of cancer that she only got a few days where she was allowed out. So my husband and I both took leave of our jobs and took turns um, staying the night at the hospital. So one of us would stay at the hospital and the other one would go to Juan McDonald House and get sleep because the one at the hospital typically didn't get a lot of sleep because she was so sick and throwing up and fevers and nurses coming in throughout the night, doctors coming in at all hours. Just a minute. But of course, Mary remembers it differently. It was only me, alone. But we had some amazing people around us, like the doctors and the nurses at Children's were just amazing. Because we were there every day, 24 hours a day, they became like family by the time we left. We were happy to leave, but we were sad to say goodbye to our, our friends and Mary's favorite doctors and nurses. And To say it was a challenging time for the Eatrides family is an understatement, of course. Tanya says that she can tell her story, but the only people who can actually understand it are the ones who go through it. Yeah, okay, there you go. And then came the Make-A-Wish Foundation. The Eatrides family were nominated to receive a trip to Disney World. Tanya thought the foundation was there to grant children their last wish. And it's not. It's, it's for any child that has a life-threatening illness. And um, yeah, when we found we were nominated, it was pretty exciting. It's not a trip that we would have been able to do on our own. The trip was in February and it was a celebratory one. We know we're so lucky. We know that we are just so blessed. Mary was declared two years cancer-free in January of 2012. She still has regular checkups at BC Children's Hospital, but as you can see, Mary is a happy and vibrant four-year-old girl, and Tanya is expecting her second baby this fall. I'm Kate Bergen for Shaw TV in Nanaimo.